So we've got the uh, Indianapolis Colts who take on the Houston Texans. Um, I've given the Texans 13, which I think is very generous, but I've given the Colts 30. But it could really be anything uh, for the Colts if Jonathan Taylor's on form and if Wentz doesn't keep throwing uh, horrendous interceptions. But yeah, e- easy enough. It really should be a routine win. This is AFC yeah. South battle as well. But yeah, 30 13 to the Colts. I've gone again very similar. I think the Colts will beat the Texans 36 13. I think that, yeah, it's, mm. a, it's the extra Taylor touchdown when he gets a bit greedy. Yeah. Or just to, just to take, take the mickey out of one of your epic fantasy picks, uh, it, it went to Mike Fry to T.Y. Hill, and just to remind you that he does still uh, exist. He, get, he got a touchdown, didn't he, last Yeah, that, that really made me laugh. I was like, oh, if only you signed him a week later. <laughs> <laughs> but generally speaking, as I say, a Colts are uh, far too good. I think it's a good opportunity for receivers like Pittman to, as I say, to get their stats up. And yeah, the, the Texans defensively, that rush defense. I mean, if the likes of Tim and Coleman has a good day, who's the backup Jets running back with Carter being on injured reserve, then what's Jonathan Taylor going to do? It could be another scary uh, the figures. And I feel sorry for anyone that's facing Taylor in fantasy. It, it, as they say, it could get messy. So, yeah, it should be no issues whatsoever for the Colts. You know you're facing Taylor in fantasy this week. I hope so. Yeah, I've got to drive from Taylor. Yeah, so like I say, it's, it's, it's going to be over already. But I'm sure one of my players will turn up. I don't know. What got. Henderson will turn up. Yes. DeAndre Swift? you got DeAndre Swift. He might turn up. No, I've got him on the bench. Oh, dear. Injured. Can't, can't take the risks. 